So, Mr. Chairman, oh, how do you? <laughs> how strange is this? Absolutely wonderful to see you there fronting our awards night. Because, as you've said already, it's a it's an extraordinary year. Really, really, really difficult time. Um, well, I feel privileged to uh, have this honour of, of presenting the awards. But just reflect on the last twelve and thirteen months for, for us, please. Well, it's been it has been so difficult, hasn't it, for for all of us. Um, I mean, for the supporters not being able to come in. I mean, I had one taste of it, didn't we, in the whole season. Uh, I've never known anything like that before. Um, but it is a season where we can definitely see some progression of the team. Um, I, I'm quite proud. There's been a few standout moments, which, which I'm sure we'll celebrate later on today. Um, I mean, you know, but I've got to mention them, you know, the, the British record for passes before a goal, you know, that, that's, that's a 56 hell of an passes, was it? 56, 50, yeah, 56 incredible. passes, absolutely amazing. Our captain, our club captain, Dean Lewington, 800 appearances. You know, these are very special moments. I mean, I think we all know that if we'd had a few more games, it could even have been a better season because I also want to thank Russ. At the end of the day, I threw him into a very difficult situation last year. He did enough to keep us in League One, which is all we could ask for him last year uh, in the curtailed season. Um, but this season, we've definitely seen the team progress. We've got right back to the basics. But as you'll remember, what this team used to be about, how we used to be about passing the ball through the thirds, taking a few risks, trying to score more than the opposition. Um, and, and I can see those elements in, in what Russ is trying to do and, and Luke and his whole team. So I think there are some great positives. Um, keeping great teams together, keeping everybody together, that's our big challenge because in the process we're developing some fantastic young footballers. Um, and, and I'm enjoying, like I hope the supporters, are, you know, just watching it on iFollow. I'm enjoying watching our team again and, and I've got some hope for the future. So, yeah, definitely a massive year and, and hopefully finishing on, on, on and up. Um, you just touched upon Russ quickly. What did you see in Russ before giving him the job? Because we all saw him as a player, as a leader in the dressing room. So what did, what did you yeah, see? Yeah, I mean, I'd had a heads up from Paul <laughs> Tisdale. I, he, he, when, when Russ first came to us, Tis talked about him being on his pro licence, uh, talked about him being, a, a, you know, he's somebody who, who absorbs information, has a real love for the game, and so then there'll be something for him maybe after playing. And, and so I just kept my eye on him. And, and, you know, if you're around Russ, you can see how focused he is. He's very passionate about what he does, but in a very calm and considered and constant way. And, and you can see that in, in the way the team have over the season just got better and better at what we're trying to do. It does mean that when you make changes to the team, it's difficult because people have to fit into those places. So we've seen it doesn't always go right. Um, but yeah, I've been really impressed by, um, by his, his vision and his belief in what he's doing and even when it wasn't working so well he continued to believe totally in what he calls the process and, and you can see a whole bunch of people downstairs totally uh, agreeing with him and, and it's a joy to watch as a chairman it's been a few years since I've been able to start to believe again and feel positive again so this season has been very very important for that. Positive is, is a massive word, the process. I've heard that word thrown around quite a lot this season. But how excited are you now for the fans to see it, for the fans to come back and for the future of this football club? Well, I think they're going to come back to some enjoyable football. And, and I think that's the most important thing. We still don't know whether we can win games, we can still give people too many chances in the way that we play and all these kind of things that will make people nervous. But we're entertaining. Um, and when we're playing well, like we did the other day, uh, we're really, really, really good. Uh, and, I, and I think that that's what we've got to try and look for, that level of consistency that a really good team can have. But I'm really hopeful if we can do the right moves in the summer and, and improve and sort of strengthen the team again, uh, that we can go into next season with a little bit more ambition. I never like to put a, a pressure on a team unnecessarily. But what I want to say to Russ is I want to keep enjoying watching the football and our supporters coming in, all watching it together. I think we'll have a lovely time.